Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in English Mountain, Tennessee and we're very excited to be bringing you guys along to not only a restaurant but also an immersive experience here in the mountains. We're also very excited today to be joined once again by the Virginia Fun Seekers. We're looking forward to a great meal and a great time catching some fish. So where are we taking everybody to today? English Mountain Trout Farm. English Mountain Trout Farm. English Mountain Trout Farm. So here at the trout farm, we prepare our fish several different ways. And I think we've got a good handle on, you know, a variety. And you can have your fish blackened, which is a grilled fish. You can have it lemon peppered, which is a grilled fish. Also, you can have it fried. So there are some options there for you if you decide that you want to eat the fish. But the, the biggest thing is, is that we do a great job at deboning that fish and cutting that fish down. We cut for all the local restaurants from here to Knoxville. Uh, we're in the back ends of most of those restaurants and the only way that we can do that is with the little board that we've invented to use here to hold that fish in its place. Guy Fietti, good friend, great guy, came here. We've done a little show with him called All American Road Trip with Guy. That will air June the 9th at 9 p.m. on the Food Network channel. He uh, was impressed with the way things went in our cut house and how we cut all the fish that we cut. We cut somewhere around two to 3,000 fish a week, every single week. So it's a big process. We stay busy and uh, we're doing everything that we can to enhance your stay with us and your time with us. So y'all come on down to the trout farm when you get a chance. We'd love to have you. How many trout do y'all keep stocked in your, in your pond? Here? Well, we'll stock probably a couple 3,000 a week, every week. We go through that many. Wow. So uh, right now in the pond is probably, uh, I'm guessing somewhere around 800 to 1,000. And you also, uh, not only do the people come here to catch trout, but you also provide trout to some of the area restaurants? Correct. That's our wholesale business. Our, our figured out in East Tennessee here, you know, it was a tourist driven area. And uh, most people that had small businesses that were based on tourism uh, usually had to revert to something else for the winter months for uh, to income. Sure. So I owned this place, I bought it, everything I had was here, so I had to try to figure out a way to make this place work for me, even in the winter months when there wasn't a lot of business here. Of course, it's the, with the tourism, the great job that they're doing uh, with the uh, uh, tourism in this area, um, you know, we almost have all, all every season's a, uh, a season now. Every fall, winter, summer, spring, Absolutely. you know, it's always ongoing. So they're doing a great job with that. So that's helped out a lot with our, our stuff. But before that, prior to that, we uh, decided that we would knock on some doors and see if we could sell some of this trout to local restaurants and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. And it has just blossomed and they were happy to have us and we were happy to have them. And it's just a, a good connection. You come here, there's a $5 fee to fish in the pond for whoever fishes in the pond. Then from there, you can decide to have your fish clean, cooked, two sides and hush puppies for a one flat price, or you can have your fish cleaned and taken home with you to go for uh, a nominal fee of poundage. And by cutting the fish, we charge a little to do that. We even have a cutting board that um, 
we use to clean the trout with that is a uh, uh, a product of my invention so to speak and it helps us tremendously keep the trout uh, stable while we work on it and provides a good uh, operational platform for cutting trout that was a, um, a culmination of many nights of thinking of what am I going to do, what am I going to do, and how am I going to do it. So my wife and I came up with the plan. We knew it had to be a good piece of cutting board material, but not just any board would do because the trout are, if you've ever handled trout, you know they're slippery as all get out. They are so that. we figured out a way to pin them down, hold them down to while we do the cutting on the fish, and it really gives us a good, clean, operational cut on that trout. Here is the bait of choice today. Some kernels of corn. Good job, Carly. <laughs> it's a pretty good size. Good job, Gentry. Woo, Henry! <laughs> Oh, got another one. There you go. Well, I'm going to take fishing with me when I go. <laughs> Henry catching them all. You get you one, Gentry? Gentry's got him another one. Way to go, Gentry. Good job, Gentry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Woo, that's a clapping. Nice one, Carly. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> Didger, what do you think about that? It's amazing. I think I want to be a fisherman now. One thing we want to point out, it is a cash-only site. They do have an ATM on site if you didn't bring your cash with you. All right, so Cindy got the lemon pepper trout with fries and macaroni. And David got the fried trout with macaroni and coleslaw. Jennifer got the blackened with green beans and macaroni. And Carly got the kids meal here with macaroni and fries. Henry got the fish meal, fried fish with fries and macaroni. And Gentry got the blackened trout with macaroni and fries. And then I got the fried trout with macaroni and applesauce. And of course, it does come with their specialty hush puppies. I want to point out that this may be house-made <laughs> applesauce. There are big chunks of apples in here. This is definitely not something that you just get out of a jar. That was English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. Gentry, what do you think about English Mountain? It's very peaceful here, and I like that you can fish, and you should definitely come here. Jennifer. I really enjoyed it also. Um, it was just very calm. We had a lot of great company, a lot of laughs, and great food also. The blackened fish was my favorite, and I really enjoyed the hush puppies and the sweet tea. And David. Everything was just great. I very much enjoyed my experience here today. Got to fish some, got to eat some fish, and um, I highly recommend it. If you're in this area, stop by and try it out. I think y'all would really enjoy it. And Cindy. Oh, it was a wonderful experience. Like everybody else said, it was so peaceful. You felt relaxed. A lot of times you go out to eat, you don't really feel that when there's a lot of people. It's noisy, but this was very relaxing. It was peaceful. And it doesn't get any fresher than catching it and them cooking it. That is so true. All right, and Carly. My experience was really good. Um, very peaceful. Like, it was said multiple times because it is very peaceful here. And... Being able to feed all the fish was also very good. And they also have dogs here. Um, they're very fluffy. I'll <laughs> tell you that one, very fluffy. All right, and Henry, what'd you think, buddy? It was good. I just like the fishes and the food and the puppies. And I will say, if you are in the Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area, you have to make a drive over here. It's not very far from the Sevierville Pigeon Forge city limits, and it is just a wonderful place. I want to under underscore it again, uh, as it's already been mentioned. What a, an amazing, incredibly peaceful and serene place. The fishing was fun. It's just an overall great experience, a great meal. 
And like Cindy said, you can't get any fresher than the fish that you're getting ready to eat here. Uh, the owners were fantastic. All in all, a wonderful place. You have to come here. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us here at English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. And we sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday.